Hi guys. Okay, so if you don't know me, I'm Haley. Lately, I've really been struggling at the gym, just feeling motivated, honestly, this year, which is frustrating because like I want to feel the motivation. I just like, something in me just can't do it. So I thought, let's just do a hard reset, okay? So I wanna do a week of workouts from the queen of intense workouts, Hannah Oberg. And I feel like this is gonna like reignite my creativity and like want to work out just because it's gonna be so challenging and hard, but like in the best way possible. I don't know her exact split, but I'm just gonna do my split and then I pulled workouts from her Instagram. So today we have legs, the first leg today. Um, and this, she posted on February 9th. I, <laughs> I'm nervous. You guys, it's pretty much an entire landmine um, day, which I feel like I can do decently well. Um, the reverse lunches are gonna suck, but other than that, like, I feel like I'll be good. I don't know, you guys. I'm like the most nervous for the leg day at the end of the week. It looks like it's gonna kill me, but this is great. And I kind of want this to be like a series of just like trying workouts from like influencers on Instagram that I really look up to and love seeing their workouts. So that's what we're gonna do today or this week. And it's gonna be a good one, pray for me. So I'll be filming all of them on here, but I will not be posting them on my Instagram because like, I'm not gonna like take credit for anybody's workouts. Um, but every single workout in this video is from Hannah Oberg. Y'all, she's incredible. So it's gonna be good. Also, I wanna show you guys my fit because it's too cute today. Okay, this is like a shitty ankle. I just don't wanna set it up on a tripod. I'm standing on a bean bag, but I'm wearing these shorts from TSL and I really, really love them. So they're kind of like a camo-ish, like a very subtle gray, like leopard camo or something. I just have this Breckenridge crew because it's cold outside. And then I'm wearing the Gymshark scoop neck training bra. The first version of it when they had the logo in the center, I do not like the logo to the side for this bra. I don't know why they switched that. So I'm just wearing the original one. And then since it's leg day, I'll be wearing Nike Metcons. And it's gonna be a good one. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm rambling. I'm also taking creatine which I haven't really talked about on YouTube yet, but I started taking creatine about a week ago. I don't know how long it takes to like see results. I mean, like muscle gain takes a while, so, but I just, I'm ready to get strong. So I've been mixing that with my pre-workout on the days that I do work out. And then I've been mixing it with either BCAAs or like orange juice on the days that are rest days for me. And then I'm taking the PE science creatine. So let me get that to show you. I've heard creatine's creatine, so it doesn't really matter where you take it from as long as it's like the monohydrate, I think. Yeah, monohydrate, I think is what matters, is what I've been told. So I'm taking PE sciences. They're unflavored. I think they all do the same, but I really like PE sciences products. I feel like I'm like obsessed with PE science and then Alani's products. And Alani doesn't have creatine. I feel like when I think of like bulking and like, PE science and creatine and muscle growth. Like it's the KK Fit Twins who take the PE science creatine. So aren't we all just trying to be like the KK Fit Twins? All right, so I'm just gonna whip up my creatine and pre-workout, head out to the gym and murder my legs. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, now we're just gonna get started with the workout. I'm just mixing up my pre-workout cocktail. I always take some pre-workout, depends on the brand, with my creatine and I sip on it when I get to the gym. So we're gonna go into the first workout. This leg day is landmine only. So we're gonna start with landmine front squats, four sets of 10. And immediately these will make your legs burn. Then we're gonna go into landmine curtsy lunges and I wanted to show you guys how I set it up because we're gonna do three sets of 10 on each leg. The stability on these was quite difficult, but it's something that I would love to work on. Now we're gonna go into landmine sumo squats. To me, these seem more like a deadlift, but it's four sets of 12. Now landmine reverse lunges. I held mine up at the front just like Hannah did, and it's three sets of 10 on each leg. This is when I wanted to quit. To finish off the workout, we're gonna do landmine RDLs, three sets of 10. I tend to put a heavier bend on my knee just so I can feel it more in my glutes. And now we have a little pump check because I was proud. Okay, it's day two. So today we're gonna do a push day. My friend Steph's actually gonna come. I'm nervous for a push day from Hannah. Um, it's gonna be a good one. I kind of like glanced at what I wrote down and 
it looks like it's a lot of chest focus, which I'm not complaining about. I love a bench. We all know bench is my favorite exercise. Always has been, probably always will be. I'm just sipping on a little pre-workout and creatine. Decided to take the Melonberry Twist Prolific, which is the stem-based pre-workout from PE. Melonberry Twist was always my favorite PE pre-workout and Alani's is Galaxy Lemonade. I really just think that I am a sourish, not like insanely sour, but like I don't like super sweet pre-workout. So yeah, we're gonna step on this. I actually, oh, I can show you all my top. I have this top from my friend Shannon's uh, clothing company called Energy The Label. It's like cropped, we love it. Okay, for push day, we decided to change it up a little bit from what I usually do and did a seated barbell shoulder press. Typical military press, four sets of eight to 10. Really try to hit for 10. Immediately going into a dumbbell single arm upright row. We did four sets of 10 on each arm and this was quite difficult. Now we went into a narrow dumbbell chest press. Four sets of 10. This is quite different from my normal bench press, but I really loved this variation. And then we went into cable chest flies. Three sets of 12. This one is so painful. It has such a stretch on your pecs and I feel like it really is so different. And then I went into a dumbbell single arm lateral raise, three sets of 10 on each arm. Lastly, we finished with an overhead tricep rope extension, three sets of 15. Of course, I had to hit y'all with a pump check because I'm quite proud of how my upper body looks whenever I get a great workout in. You guys, my hair is so dirty. I literally got a glob of foundation in my hair, so it's crunchy. I'm going to shower after the gym. It's fine. So I just got to the gym. I'm meeting up with Steph, and we're going to go do day three. So she wants to hit legs today. Even though I typically do legs, it's my first and last workout in my split. We're going to hit legs. I peaked at the leg day, and I'm genuinely concerned for my safety. It's going to be a lot, but it's going to be good. So we're going to do Hannah's leg day. I also was lazy again last night and did not put on self tan. So confident too. Okay. So for the fit today, because I am really, really just not feeling body confident. I have some black aligns on. I just have this like throw on really stretchy white cotton, um, crop tee. I think it's from Pretty Little Thing. I'll take it off at some point during the workout. I'm wearing the uh, Lulu. I, I want, it's not ebb to street. It's uh, free to be wild, I think. With Lulu, you guys, I solely know like Flow Y, a line bra, and then the energy bra fit. There's stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna go hit legs. Okay, we have the last leg day for this week. We did a landmine hack squat. I've never done this variation before and it was quite interesting, but we did four sets of 10. Then we went into B stance, dumbbell RDLs, four sets of 10 each side, really focusing on that working leg. Then a Smith machine squat, eccentric hold. So slow going down, explode up four sets of 10. And then we went into reverse lunges. She does barbell, but I don't have the knee stability for that. So I just held two kettlebells and we did three sets of 10 on each side. And then now we went into cable kickbacks. I did more of a glute medius kickback for three sets of 10 each side. I've only done these once before, but man, it was hard. And I really felt it in my glutes. I was quite proud. Okay, you guys, last day. Last day of this workout. And I think it's gonna be good. I don't think it's going to kill me, but if I say that, I feel like it's probably gonna end up killing me. We're gonna do a pull day, and this is Hannah's again, and I just drank my pre-workout, and my face is starting to feel tight, so <laughs> can't talk long. Gonna need to go get, you know, some exertion out. Um, a lot of new pre-workout, honestly, gets me so itchy. The beta is so strong. So I don't understand when I'm on TikTok, people saying Alani News weak. Um, their pre-workout is strong. I don't know. I'm sensitive too, so it's fine. But I just got to the gym and I'm super excited. And you know what? I've been doing this thing where I listen to a podcast when I'm driving to the gym and I like it a lot more. Sometimes I'll crave music and I'll do that. But like lately I've just been a podcast gal, podcast girly, if you will. The one I was listening to on the way today was, oh, 
my girl Brittany Lupton. Love her. I need to do her workouts for a week, actually. Also, I'm going to put it in the description because I'm just so freaking proud and excited um, that it happened. But I was on Brittany's podcast. She did an episode uh, with me and it's linked below. Uh, trigger warning. We talk about some heavy subjects, but it's about my fitness journey. And I really enjoyed being on her podcast and I freaking love Brittany. So I'm going to go get this pull day. Oh, let me show you my outfit. Shoot. You guys, I do this every time. All right, the fit today, I was feeling long sleeve. So I've got the Vital Penny Brown Marl long sleeve from Gymshark. And then I'll show you more whenever I'm in there. But the Balance Athletica, I think these are the Tenacity shorts. For me, the Tenacity and Cloud for the black colorway feel the exact same to me. Um, these are the Tenacity. I feel it on the inside. Yeah. So we're in the Tenacity Rider shorts. My new love language is mixing brown and black. I just, I love neutrals. Okay, I need to go in before I like claw my face off. Okay, last workout of the week is pull, so we got some back and buys. I did a seated rope pull down, four sets of 10. I've never used this grip attachment in the seated position and I really did enjoy it. Now I went into a T-bar row. I've never done this before, but I did four sets of 10 and I really started to feel it on that third and fourth set. Now I wanted to show you how I got into this because man, it was quite difficult and I'm sure people stared, but it's an incline one arm dumbbell row. I did four sets of 10 on each side. This one was so different. I've never done this exercise before, but I feel like I'm gonna be utilizing it a lot more frequently. And then now we did a kneeling cable one arm row. I really love how Hannah used the seated cable attachment like this rather than just standing. I really felt it in my lap. And for this, it's three sets of 10 each side. And then now we did barbell spider curls. I did a slight incline because I am 5'10", so my limbs are longer, but we did three sets of 10. And then cable straight bar curls. I typically do these every week and I really enjoy them, but I really pushed my weight. Three sets of 10, and honestly, your last rep should look this difficult. That's how you know you're lifting the right weight. Okay, that is it for this video, you guys. When I tell you <laughs> that pull day, I didn't realize back and buys could make me wanna die um, until I did that pull day. And now I'm regretting saying that it's gonna be an easy pull day cause she was not. But honestly, every single workout really was so different from the way that I train. And I encouraged myself to lift heavier each set. Well. Each like exercise, last set, increase my weight. If I can hit all the reps, great. If not, I, it's fine. I, at least I tried. And I pleasantly surprised myself. You guys. Okay, this is including cardio, but wow. She was hard. It was great. I really enjoyed doing this. And I didn't film any of these for Instagram because they're not my workouts. Um, and I didn't want to post them and it'd be like me stealing someone else's workout. That is not my vibe. Um, but I do post all of my other workouts that I make over on my Instagram. It's linked down below. It's just Haley Jordan Fett. Be sure to like, comment. Um, let me know if you guys want to see any more. I want to make this a series. So whose workout should I try next? I'm thinking Brittany because her workouts are, oh, they're intense. She does more than like four exercises for legs, which is kind of where I tap out. So that might kill me, but that could be fun. Entertainment. We love entertainment. Same with Libby. Would absolutely murder me. I could do that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope y'all got something out of it. Hannah is literally so intense. So literally go follow her and do her workouts if you need them. But it was really great talking to you guys. I will see y'all in my next video and I hope y'all have a great day.